certainly a little, maybe a little effect. Dep probably depends how the start of the match goes. Um, if if Declan can get off to a good start, then he probably would just be put to the back of his mind. But maybe if he gets off to a slow start, Tom Tom fires at the start. Maybe that kicks in then a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it, it may be a case of Deck needing to get off to the, the faster start, but it is going to be Tom with the opening chance here. Trademark Tom Cousins break and a nice open chance for him. Yeah, Pretty I good think chance it's as well. Uh, I think it's all going to be about the yellow on the, the top left rail. It's probably going to be a problem ball, possibly on the double now. If not, he's probably going to be playing the, the red into the top right corner. He must be on the double now. And this is the key ball on the frame. Right in the heart of the pocket. Tom said when he played out in the arena earlier on today in his first match that we got to see him against Scott Kennedy, he just struggled to feel get the feel for the table out there. And he said once he went back out there and did it again, he just felt more and more comfortable as the match went on. So expect him to be at a really high level now in this match. Really got a feel for the table. Yeah, this arena table is slightly different to the outside tables. And especially when you're screwing the ball back, it's it's a lot more reactive. And even the even the outside tables are reactive, but this one especially, the the white ball comes back a lot further than you than you would imagine. Backing his cue ball here, uh, his potting rather, didn't quite get on this one as clean as he wanted. No problems though. Yeah, it's a confident start. I mean, that wasn't a, a straightforward pot, but straight in the out of the pocket and it's looking like a 1-0 lead to Tom now. Well, what a start for TC. Big break, brilliant clearance, and he's up and running. It was a very impressive start from Tom, but almost expected start as well. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a good break, but it wasn't a, a straightforward finish. I mean, he, had a, he didn't really have the balls to develop, but there was a couple on the rail, and his first shot wasn't as easy as it could have been. So it was, a, it was certainly a good opening frame for Tom. Quite often he gets missed with Tom. His first two or three shots are normally so clever and opens things up. He attacks his bad ball so early that you kind of you can be forgiven for thinking, oh, he just keeps getting easy layouts off his massive break. But it's not always the case. No, I mean it's um, you can have a massive break, but it doesn't always mean the balls are going to be going to be there for you. And it's not just that Tom has a massive break; it's because he's he finishes frames that are not always there as well and it doesn't matter how hard you hit the balls I mean you, you can be left with sort of any any sort of finish really so nothing Deck could do about the opening frame didn't get to the table I think a lot hinges on the level he can play here because he's certainly going to be more fatigued than Tom coming into this match and he's yet to have an individual match out on this arena table obviously played team games out there quite a few Ramps up for a big break, but nothing doing here. Final ball rolling, no. Yeah, and I've been watching Declan a little bit um, this week, and he's he, he's sort of going for a he's going for the front ball break, but he's he's putting the white ball right to the edge of the table, and it almost looks like he's going for a cut break, but On he's, the front he's ball. hitting the centre ball. Yeah. Um, and really changes his technique as well. He's like going yeah, very much three-quarter on and, and really trying to ramp it up. Yeah, and it's not really something that I've seen any other player do, to be honest. And it must be working for him because he's 
obviously he's in the final now and there's no, there's no way you can get to this final without at least breaking well most of the time. I think Tom's got the one problem ball on the right hand rail here but I think he can pot it into the middle off the yellow that's already over the middle so it's going to be probably the question of how, how does he get on that ball forty five second shot clock in operation for the Masters one extension per frame plenty of time for both these guys who are very much used to the 30 and 15 that they use week in week out with ultimate ball yeah and he's going to he's going to be getting on his bad ball now on the on the right hand rail on the shot And it doesn't really matter what angle he has here because either he has an angle to land on the yellow next to the black or either he can, he can pot this off the yellow and he's going to be knocking it towards the top right pocket. So he's probably got a choice of balls on this shot. So he's chose to just play for the ball that he was knocking up the table. It has come out quite nice in the end. Well, he has got the the ball next to the black into the bottom right as well. And it could go either way here, but it looks like he wants to come down the table. Work these out really well. Yeah, it's just a little bit of bit of right hand side in this one now off the two rails he's going to be straight on the eight ball into the bottom right corner another one on the board two visits to the table for Tom two clearances from the break 2-0 in front and it's business as usual for the big man it's nice to see a good atmosphere in, in for this final as well and it you know it's pretty much a full crowd as well yeah it's good arena here there really has been some great atmospheres out there must be a great place to to be out there and playing but also can get edgy i guess we've got that to look forward to in the world team shootout tomorrow when england get underway yeah it's um pretty much for every match that i've been watching so far it's been a very good atmosphere out there and of course you know there's certain players that en enjoy the atmosphere and but there's certainly a lot of tension out there as well. Didn't quite explode as they normally do for Tom, but it's still enough power to almost manhandle them open. And if that red passes the eight ball to the bottom corner, this is a very presentable chance. Yeah, tough to tell whether the um, the red next to the eight ball goes into the bottom left. But I think we will soon find out. He certainly won't be going yellow, though. Um, whether that ball goes past the eight or not, he'll definitely be going the reds. Yeah, he's got more options than just having to, to go. There's other ways to deal with it. There's a little bit of room for it as well. So we get to see Tom and it, the way he works it out, how clever he can be. I feel like he's just gone for a little flick on the two reds in the centre of the table there and possibly they don't go now. Um, I'm assuming he's played to do a little flick on them balls. I think that can do. He's just a spectator as we are. He's played one shot in the match so far. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think his next shot will be to leave one of the two balls in the center of the table as a little plant to the to the bottom right corner with the red that's over the pocket. And then possibly, well, it, it still depends whether the, the red goes past the eight ball, but. Just sits one on the lip. Yeah, just and he the pace he needed. He did just decel on that very slightly there, definitely, because he certainly wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted to pot it at that pace anyway. Yeah, and he's left himself the wrong angle on the red in the middle, so. We get to see Declan at the table for the first time. Not the most inviting of chances, but at least he's at the table. And he's got a good shot here. It's either a loss of turn or he could even do the skill shot, which he's got. Does that suggest that the yellow does squeeze past to the bottom right still, yeah, the one he's nearest to? Yeah. He seems happy with it, so yeah. he must go. And probably his, his toughest ball on the right rail is going to be his last ball on this finish. I don't, I don't really see how he can get on it any earlier. So this is going to be his um, the last ball. I know, so he's going to go, he's going to play for it next shot, but I think if it was me, I would have played for the yellow into the left middle next and then left that as the last ball. And this is why, because he's not really got the right angle on that shot, but that was a, that was a very good shot to get straight there. It's just a little bit awkward. I mean, it, is he straight enough to just drop it in? He's, he's down quick. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that was a little bit tougher than it should have been because he certainly wouldn't have wa wanted to run off the cushion there. And the, the white was running very close to the eight ball as well. Very important that he took that finish out, and it wasn't that easy when he came to the table, though. It wasn't, yeah, you know, the was combination started it off, and then he's, he's actually managed his work pretty well the way through that. Yeah, there was certainly a couple of tricky shots in there. Um, probably didn't, maybe didn't look like it on the watching, but it was um, especially a couple of little tricky shots there. The one onto the eight ball, and probably the one to get onto the ball on the rail were the two tricky shots but he made him look easy in the end. Yeah, really good signs for Declan starting this match. It's been a tough day for him. He was in at 9am this morning. He's been on the table pretty much all day. Barely had a break to even have any food. Energy levels must be low, but that was great signs for him. Also showing Tom that he's ready to punish mistakes. Now we get to see this break of Declan's. Sort of something he's introduced in the last few tournaments. Came across the ball quite a bit, but there's huge amounts of power. He did, yeah. He had, he had a bit, a little, little bit of side on that break, and um he squared up the front ball really well, though, and got the power through the pack. He did, and I think he's looking to come in at that sort of side angle with the with the front ball break. Um, obviously, you see a lot of players breaking from the centre, and and what what Declan's probably looking for is the the balls to sort of spread side to side rather than just go up and down the table, which is what you'd see if someone breaks from the centre of the table. And as it's happened, he's left a a dream split here, to be honest. Not a lot of work to do. His first shot could have been a little bit better there because I think he was looking to leave the red into the top right pocket. But he's a little bit hampered by the, the eight ball, I think. He's still going for it, though. Maybe he's just got enough room there. 
is a nice shot. Yeah, and from here I think this is pretty straightforward now. As long as he lands onto the yellow, uh, the, the red into the left middle. Should be straightforward. A little bit pacey. Won't get close to his next ball. Yeah, I mean, he would have liked to leave the, the ball over the left corner as his last ball, but... Oh, he's, he's just managed to hold for the ball in the middle of the table, which he certainly prefer to play now. Brilliant response this from Declan Brennan. Didn't see the table in the opening two frames. Sees plenty of it in the next two, and we're all square at 2-2. Two, two. What a standard to start this match. Quite incredible. It is, yeah, and to be honest, that was a very confident two frames from Declan as well. Um, Sometimes it's not just how it's not just the result of taking out a clearance, it's also the sort of confidence you're showing and the I mean he was exactly where he wanted to be, or he was certainly giving us that impression the whole way through both of those finishes. Yeah, and I mean whether I thought he was out of position or in position, you know, he, he looked very confident. He he got on with a shot, and, and that's probably what Tom's watching as well. He sat in his seat there as well. This could be the start of a very special week for Declan Brennan. Last year, when we were in Ireland, it was his good friend, Ronan McCarthy, that was having a tilt at all the titles. Right now, it's Declan. Still in the doubles, still in the World Team shootout, still in the World Team Championship, and still in the World Singles. Everything still an option for Declan Brennan. I mean, in terms of the doubles, I mean, he won't be winning that because me and Mike are going to win that one. But oh, well, of course, of <laughs> course. <laughs> but he still has but a chance. But other than the doubles, you know, he's, he's still he's in there. Um, yeah. He could win anything, yeah. Get us back underway with Tom Cousins. He's listening for the sound as we are, but it's dry. And look at this for a layout. Everything on a cushion. Yeah, and this is certainly a little bit tricky. Um, no matter what balls he goes for here, there's, there's a couple of bad balls on either colour set. Immediately looking at the yellows, though, you can see the one in the middle of the table, he's eyeing up off the red to top right. And if that one was gone, everything goes and has a pocket on yellows. Yeah, I think what he was looking at there is to leave the yellow in the centre of the table into the top right corner, possibly off the red. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that is a very tricky shot. No matter how well he gets on that, that's a very tricky shot. And if he played to get on it on that previous shot, then he's I don't think just he come across it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he played to get on it that previous shot, but it's certainly something he was looking at maybe later on in the finish you can see exactly what he's thinking it's all about those two balls at the top of the table yeah now what he's looking at is to leave the yellow into the left centre after this shot possibly land a little bit thin on it yeah, it's like but grimace. he's looking to play a, na a little cannon now into that area of the table at the top and develop these two yellows Oh, it's brilliant, but he's going to need some more. Really got into that one. 
not just potting this yellow, but getting on the next ball. Looks like that red might get in the way. Yeah, and, and what went wrong there was it's certainly not the cannon he was looking for. He was looking to go directly into them two yellows. And because he's just missed to the left-hand side, he's, he's left himself a lot of work to do now as well. Can he see the one to right centre if he can? Still in good shape for a finish. He's got work for a finish, but... Yeah, he's lining it up. He's on this ball. Yeah, and I think the only way he can clear up now is to try and get on the yellow nearest to the bottom of the table next, nearest to the eight ball. Well, he's he's took his medicine here, and he's... Unless he is still on the one at the bottom. If he can avoid the red with the one at the bottom of the table, he can run round for the for the other yellow. I think he has to nip into this a little bit. I don't think he can play it natural. He's down quick, which tells me he's pretty good on it. Oh, really good. Needs I'll it to pull up. What, um, what a has. shot there, because he's put a lot aside on that shot, and it certainly wasn't a, a natural angle. What a start here for Declan Brennan. Had to wait two frames before he got to the table, but then he brings out counter clearance, break clearance, reverse clearance, and he's in front. Quite incredible. That was the best of the clearance of the lot as well. He had to work incredibly hard, as he has done all day long. As I've said a couple of times, he's been on the table seemingly all day, right here at 9 a.m. He's been playing matches all day long. Good couple of wins in his first couple of rounds. Michael Scally 7-4 this morning. And Thierry 7-5. And then things got really tricky. A three-hour battle with Ronan Fay. Eight frames to six. Huge, long, draining match. He had barely a minute from finishing that match before he went on against Dylan Leary. Another tough battle. Eight frames to five. And then Giuseppe Di Imperio. Nine frames to seven. Those last three in particular were back to back to back and about seven hours with no break. Dry break here, but certainly not an open frame. Not what Tom would have wanted to see coming to the table. And possibly after the three frames that Declan's put in here, he probably feels like he has to go at these. And the first real miss in the match. That was a misplant earlier on from Tom, but first open pot missed. Shake of the head. And you can't help but feel that's a little bit of pressure from Declan that's forced that miss. Certainly, yeah. And, um, but possibly concentrating too much on how he's going to cannon into the bad ball as well. And Declan now, in his head, he's going to be thinking, right, I really need to punish this. Especially when you, especially when you're playing Tom. So probably pressure now on Declan. You know he's done the dry break there. Tom's done the miss. Certainly be thinking, this is a must must win frame now. Put the pressure on him. Although every red got has got a pocket, so um, certainly not an easy finish still. 
He's got to get the cue ball in the right places. Especially with the, the reds around the eight ball. Almost feel like one really good positional shot kind of allows him then to pick it apart. Of course, yeah, and I think the positional shot is going to be this one now. This is the key shot. I, if he can get the cue ball in a in a good area now, he's he's um, a big favourite to clear up. Oh, and he's just probably to pull needs up. a slight angle. And yeah, has has just gone a little bit far. So the only red he can really play for now is the one closest to the right corner. His worst ball is certainly the one below the eight ball. If it goes into the left corner, possibly off off the yellow nearest to the pocket, he might have a, a better chance than it looks. But it's hard to tell from his camera angle where it goes. What we've seen all week long is that from this angle, there's a smidge more a gap there at the bottom than you think. But looking at the angle he's left now, he could even run back across the table underneath the eight ball and the couple of yellows onto the onto the red into the same pocket he's playing this one now. But he's just not got into that. I think he's been lucky here, you know. I think he's he's landed straight enough on this to screw back and sort of glance off the eight ball and the yellow to leave the the last uh, red into the right corner. Yeah, and that was fortunate there. He certainly didn't play that um, the shot before. Just okay to die this one in. Hampered queuing, of course. Possibly could run into the eight ball. I think if he does that, he's he's guaranteed a shot into some sort of pocket. Depends on the angle. See, see how he was looking there. He was thinking about floating past it and just cutting it back. In the end, he was able just to drop it in. Yeah, and this is not a not a certain eight ball. This is tough. This is a big shot. Brilliant once again from Declan Brennan. That one won't go down as a break clearance or a reverse clearance, but it will feel like one. And it punishes a mistake from Tom Cousins as well. Declan's hit him for four here. That is four straight frames, four straight frames of brilliance from Declan, you have to say. Yeah, Tom. It, was, it, was, it was a good eight ball there, to be honest, because um, obviously you don't want to let Tom back at the table and, and give him any chances, to be honest, but... Um, the eight ball was very miserable there. Yeah, Tom had his chance there. Mr. the open pot trying to get the cannon at the beginning of the frame. Tom gives very little away in his chair. Hard to sort of say that he looks rattled or anything like that. But you can tell that that, that miss and that clearance from Declan has annoyed him just a little bit. Hammer. Huge break. And he's have come out really easy, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you couldn't ask much more from the break than that. Don't really like using the word easy on commentary because it's never as easy as that. You guys make it look easy, but on this occasion, for a player of Tom's level, it's that sort of layout that you'd, you'd be shocked if he doesn't take these out. Almost that one transitional shot's just about it, really. Yeah, this sh this shot now is going to be the key shot. As long as he comes down the table, lands on a red fairly straight, whether it's the one into the possibly the left middle or the right corner, as long as he's straight enough, it's uh, it should be the end of the frame. And that will do. On the one to the corner. Oh, 
No, I thought he was straight on the one to the corner. He must have just a little bit of angle. Maybe just a couple more rolls down the table would have helped. I think he's okay. I think possibly maybe needs to cannon the yellow just to the left of the red. But I think he's still good. Possibly running through as well now. I mean, what a final this has been so far. I mean, it's been incredible. Has there even been any mistakes so far? Just that miss, the, miss the from, one Tom. from Tom, yeah. possibly. And yeah, and, and um, obviously Tom lost in the the world singles in the last 32, but I don't think he really did a lot wrong to lose that. Um, yeah, I think he said he said he missed one ball. I think in the whole match, he said Paul Clack just played flawless and. He yeah. said it hurt him, which actually was good to hear because at times you're kind of thinking, okay, Tom's just brushes losses off onto the next tournament. But yeah, he said it really did. It did sting, and you know that that is really, you know, shows a lot about Tom how much this means. Of course, yeah, and I mean a lot of the a lot of the top players, you don't really see the emotion that you that they're really going through, you know, because you. You learn over the years to try and keep yourself calm, not show too much emotions, and that's probably why you don't see what the players are really going through out there. Well, a very congested layout for Declan. He made a ball, but they didn't really open up, and he's a touch short of pace on the first shot here. He is, yeah, and to be honest, um, being a touch of pace short on this shot, probably means he can't clear up now. I think the yellow to the nearest to the left corner, he has to be very precise to land on that. And with not being straighter on this yellow into the left centre, he's going to struggle to clear up now. So much so, it looks like he's just going to turn the table over. He has left the ball on, which he's not going to be happy about. How aggressive will Tom want to be here? Good finish in the last frame. They want to build on that. still a very tough finish for Tom from here I think with the balls advantage that he's got I think we will see him play a safety shot certainly not an obvious safety shot so maybe going into this into the left corner or middle oh He was trying to make that. He was trying to be aggressive. He was, and I can only assume that he, he couldn't really see a, a safety shot in the time he had. And, um, and Also, I think it was a sort of layout that one good pot would give him a chance, because if he could make that pot, then there's only the one on the bottom cushion that didn't actually have a pocket. Because he knew he was going to be just nudging over, open those ones in the middle. And Tom is will back his potting. And what he's left Declan here is, you see where he's left this yellow into the right corner. He's left a natural angle now to come off the left cushion and disturb these reds out the way of the, the yellow nearest to the left corner. As long as he pots the ball, a little bit of stun. He could be opening this up. Uh, Got into it just too much. First mistake from Declan in the match. Just a hair too much into that. He did, and to be honest, Declan would have expected to get that shot right there. 
um, probably an easier shot than it looked on the on the stream. I thought he was going to get that. Um, yeah, and he's just uh, he's just slightly overscrewed that one. Yeah, he will be disappointed with that. The loss of turn from Tom. Waiting for the right opportunity to go here. Yeah, Declan can certainly hit this yellow. It's what whether he can find some sort of decent safety shot or possibly a going for a fluke now. Is it as hard as he can? Well, it's not a terrible result as he's left it awkward here for Tom but Tom's got complete control here yeah and it's all in his first shot probably forced into going for the red right into the right centre now it's not an easy shot or he's, he's maybe just way. gonna go for a little safety but he is giving Declan the chance of fluking this ball Obviously, the, the red into the right centre must have been tough enough for Tom to feel that the shot was better to play a safety shot. Also, the moment as well. If he was, say, two or three in front in the match, you might have seen him go. Hang on a minute. Oh. Hang on a minute. And in it goes. And this is what I'm saying. You know, he, Tom would have known he's given him a chance to, to flute that ball, but still a tough shot on the eight ball. I don't think it goes into the left centre. Looks like he's going to come off the left side rail to try and pot the eight ball into the right car, uh, the right centre. And I expect him to get close to this. Not this time. Frustration for Declan because he knows with Tom giving him one more chance to fluke it, that would have hurt him. As much as he acknowledged the fluke, he knows how pivotal and how big that could have been. I don't think there'll be any more safety shots from Tom here. like to get onto the red next to the eight ball as his next shot so they won't be wanting to leave that till last and he has got there and that should be the frame now anywhere now with the cue ball in the center of the table should leave a pretty much a missable eight ball Well, the most intriguing frame so far with both players having multiple visits to the table. And it is Tom that ties the scores up at 4-4. We talked about how long Declan's been on the table today. It's been a completely different story for Tom Cousins. He's kind of flown through. The, the score lines of his victories were not, not massive. He started off 7-2 you know, against Abono and 7-3 against Scott Kennedy. We saw that this morning. 8-1 against Jasper Simmons and that kind of got him so far ahead of the draw that he played Luke Gilbert 8-6 Carl Sutton 9-6 which we saw that was in the semis he's had plenty of time in between every single match you know that he's been back to the hotel he's been 
chilling out, refreshing, showered before every single match. It's been a completely different journey and experience through, the, through this tournament for these two guys. Yeah, and with, with Tom being at the top of the draw, that's the reason. Um, between between Tom's games, he's he's been waiting for the bottom of the draw to finish. Well, eight ball flies in. That'll come back out onto the spot. He's made other balls, so he will be at the table. And this is a you know a lovely split for him. Looks like reds will be his choice. I thought he might look at yellows because I thought the two yellows into the right centre were a straight plant. It looks like they're set to be below the jaw. You could manufacture it and make it, but the reds all have homes as well. Yeah, I think the plant, the plant on the yellows to the, the right centre, is probably just not straight enough, and he would be knocking the the yellowy plants onto it, probably onto the rail, and that'll be why he's going for reds. And although everything has a pocket here, um, it's still not a straightforward finish because probably has to play the the two balls down this side of the table near the eight ball as his next two shots, which is not really the the route you would normally go. to keep going he might be on no ball here yeah, very looked, short looked to touch short Jacqueline's shown a huge amount of focus throughout this match yeah reaction tells us he's short here so backup plan coming up yeah, and on that last shot, he would have probably been playing for the, the red, which is on the right hand rail. So that just shows how short he just landed there. Wasn't ideal to pop both. He wasn't, and to be honest, he was very unfortunate to pop both balls there because he certainly wasn't hanging over the pocket. And unless, um, I don't think the red goes to the left corner. So i probably left it with a tricky shot to the right corner and uh, the right center. And yeah, but the white's tough, isn't it? Yeah, not ideal to get on the last ball. No, it's an excellent pot and he was able to dig into it to at least leave himself on a double. And to be honest, he's left a nice double because as long as he pots it, he's guaranteed to be on the eight ball. So his focus will be totally on the double here, which is what the, the best he could have asked for after that last shot. Oh, flies in. This is brilliant. This really is brilliant. Huge hole Tom Cousins has dug, and he gets himself out of it with some brilliant stuff there. The game just isn't this easy. It was incredible. Well, I mean, it was nice to see him play a, a bad positional shot and not <laughs> yeah. finish, but he, he still managed to get them, didn't he? <laughs> just incredible. 
And there are times when the previous braking clearance he had a huge break and he was able to run through it pretty quickly. This time, much harder split. Worked all the way through it. And yeah, just very impressive indeed. No reaction at all though from Declan Brennan. Huge power. And he's going to make a ball. First glance, this is probably a better looking layout than it actually is. First ball is going to be very tricky though. And when I say that, I mean probably the balls he'd like to go for are the reds. Um, but looking at it, the only easy opener is going to be on the yellows into the left centre. And so possibly forced into the trickier colour set. Yellow on the left hand side is his major problem. And yeah, and where he's landed with the cue ball now certainly not going to be easy he would have liked to be on a better better yellow than he is now i think what he's lining up now is to pop this one into the right corner then the yellow into the left middle to possibly leave a double on his bad yellow into the right corner is going to be looking to pop the yellow next to the eight ball into the left center just run it through very slightly and this yellow on the left hand side of the table into the right corner as a double this feels like do or die in this frame Tom made his double in the previous frame to the corner It's Declan's turn. Oh, very close, but it stays on the table. Huge frustration for Declan. Yeah, and the reason he's frustrated is because he's missed it to the thick side of the pocket, which he really wouldn't have expected to do. The difference with this match table to the outside tables is the fact that the double where he's missed it thick on this table would normally go in the pocket on the outside tables but for some reason on this table the the doubles really straighten up and that's where he's gone wrong there It's not necessarily an easy counter clearance here for Tom. There is plenty of work in this one. Two reds together are awkward. The red on the right hand side is awkward. That solves two of them. Yeah, and that was such a good shot there. He's played that with bottom right hand side to come off the cushion with with what is running side when it hits the cushion and he's cannon them balls absolutely perfect it was a lot tougher than it looked that shot can't 
bounce out. Oh, it's good news because he's moved the yellow. Bad news where he's moved the yellow to. Opens up the pocket, covers the potting angle. Down on this one very quickly. And if he can't see the potting angle at the top left, he's in trouble. I think he's just about okay. He is, yeah. He's just about on it. And actually, as it happens, I think he's left a very nice angle to run into the yellow that's blocking the red. And if he, if he can cannon that ball, he should be on that red into the top right pocket. Playing short position, that is, that's just incredible. What control of that cue ball? Well, I didn't even think of that shot. I mean, that's, um, <laughs> it's a fantastic yeah. shot. I mean, what I touch. can't even explain how, how tough a shot he's just played there. His touch is just unreal. That was so good. Because he had a lot of drag and a lot of right hand side on that shot. And even just to pot the ball, it was such a tough shot from there. this out again the level of his last few finishes has just been absolutely out of the top draw incredible stuff from Tom Cousins who opens up a two frame lead once again and you could hear the clap from the crowd there was so much louder than the other frames I mean that was that, that second to last shot there was was so good I can't even explain how good that shot was just amazing just it looked like he was in a world of trouble and he's come up with a huge shot but it, the, the touch, the, the, the deft touch he has is just amazing. And having lost four straight frames, he's responded by winning four straight frames of his own. It doesn't really tell the full story about the quality of the finishes within those four frames. Frustration for Declan is he's had chances in two of them. just haven't opened at all. Not the frame that Tom Cousins or Declan Bren Brennan wanted. I'm not sure it's the frame that the crowd wanted. I mean, to be honest, it's the frame Declan Brennan wanted because it was Tom's break and he'd well certainly, that's, that's he'd certainly take coming to the table and, and how it is now. I guess that's the way to look at it. I mean, he, he won't want it. He won't want it to be a tactical frame, but he also, you know, it's Tom Cousins' break. The fact you get to the tables, uh, look at the positive side of that. Yeah, of course. I mean, if if Tom's breaking and and you come to the table with a shot, you absolutely take that. Just put that into context. Is Tom has broke cleared his final last two breaks. He's had six breaks in the match. Three of them he is cleared from. This one will take an awful lot of working out. It will, and to be honest, both players at the moment will be thinking, probably not wanting to pot a ball, because as soon as you leave yourself with the lesser balls on the table, it becomes harder then to to win the frame with the with the safety play that comes. So what do you try and do? Is it trying to dangle the carrot, almost try and tease your op opponent into taking something on? I mean, there's just nothing there. Yeah, the the, the general thinking I think is um, possibly to try and force your, your opponent into going for something that probably they shouldn't do. And 
yeah, I mean, both players are not really going to want to open the balls up. So unless you're trying to dangle a carrot, there's there's not um there's there's not really a lot of options on from here. And Declan's been involved in an awful lot of pool today. He's had a couple of very long frames. One in particular against Ronan Fay that he had to really dig deep and grind in. He's going to have to do it again here. Tom's going. I think he's having. He's going to cut this back in and, and try and open everything up. He's going in a sense, as in he's trying to open it up. I mean, he's not going to necessarily go if they don't come out, but he wants to be aggressive. He does, and I think Declan will be happy that he's doing this, though. He is now. He absolutely is now. Q1 hand then for Declan Brennan following that cue while jumping off the table. Yeah, and as I just said before I shot, I mean, Declan would have been sat in his seat there more than happy for Tom to have a go at uh, opening them balls up there from there. And I'm sure Tom's thinking now, like, what, what, what has he done, to be honest, because it certainly wasn't the right idea. We're back into a sort of normal frame kind of territory now. The balls have been opened up off that shot from Tom. And Declan has got a, a finish on that actually it's a frame and a layout that's got really strong connections. And probably the key ball in this frame is going to be the red ball nearest to the centre of the table which he's probably going to have to put into the right centre. Um, probably w working out how he's going to land on that ball. It's going to be the key shot. He's obviously got a different plan, but he could have played for it early, possibly even bottom left, and then played the shot he's just played following it. And then it works its way around. Might be able to leave it as his second last ball. If he can pot the one down the rail after this one and leave himself dead straight, he might be able to screw back in a straight line for the for the red into the right corner as his last ball. So I think he's looking to land dead straight on the one into the right center, which can then screw back for the red into the right corner. Yeah, you can see he's looking at the line. Just a little bit straight though on this last red. And he's probably going to have to leave the eight ball with the, the white on the, the bottom rail. It's probably going to be tough queuing. He's accepted it. Didn't try and overdo it, just accept what you've got. And an excellent clearance from Declan Brennan. I thought that frame was in for a, the long haul. Surprised that Tom, especially considering winning the previous four frames, he had the momentum. I'm surprised that Tom's taken such a big risk. It is, and, and to be honest, especially for the player that's leading the match, he's probably not the player you expect to go for that early on in that finish, in that frame. And as a as I was saying, um, it's certainly not something that you would want to be 
potting a ball or trying to develop the frame there because you, you'd much rather your opponent goes for that. Declan would have been sat in his seat there, happy that Tom was having a go at that, and obviously you've seen he smashed into them. The white's gone off the table, but e even if the white didn't go off the table, it's not necessarily going to land on an easy finish. I think he just didn't want to get too stuck into a, a tough tactical exchange, as you see. The defending champion there, Ronan McCarthy, watching on. His good friend, Declan Brennan, is about to get us underway with frame 12. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you can hear this on the, um, on the stream, but this is a very good atmosphere out there now. I think it's pretty much a full crowd and um, both supporters are, are really going at it now, aren't they? Yeah, plenty of support for both players as well and plenty of neutrals out there. And to be fair, both players are really delivering for us as well. What a treat it is to see two of the great players in the world delivering on the table. shot in this frame now if he can pot this and land pretty decent on his next red he should be straightforward shot there made that look very easy to be honest he's also landed on the one that's also near the rail whether he has a good angle on it though to get on the next red I'm not sure if he does play this now he's probably going to have to leave the red in the centre of the table but probably won't be as well on it as he'd like to be And that's why you see him hit that quite hard and he, he made the pot a little bit trickier than it needed to be, but what he's done is sacrificed the, an easier pot for a better position on this ball. With a snooker background that Declan has, he will always back his queuing to knock in a tough ball like that. Of course, yeah, and it's probably not the shot that I would have played not being as probably as good a potter as Declan is, but he's he's backing his potting and he's he's um he's backing his own game, what he's what he prefers to do. And just a lovely angle to track behind the eight ball here. Yeah, and then to be honest, Declan looks really confident out there. You know, he, he he doesn't look like missing anything, to be honest. Not at all. It's as focused as I've seen him in a long time. And we're all square once again. Great clearance from Declan Brennan. Back-to-back -back clearances, having lost four straight. I think it's fair to say, I mean, those that have been following ultimate pool over the last three years Declan hit the ground running winning the very first title the very first pro series event with the titles he was winning elsewhere a lot of people calling him you know putting him right up there at the top of the game and he struggled to get back into a final he struggled to find any sort of rhythm and get too deep in these events and I think the frustration at the back end of last year was there for all to see I think mentally he turned things around at the beginning of this year. He almost said to himself he was resetting and starting again. And we've seen the results start to return. Certainly on, on the ultimate pool stage, he's still been winning plenty, especially in Northern Ireland and, and all Ireland. But to see him here and playing with this level of focus and quality, this is 
what we saw from him three years ago when he took down that first Pro Series title. Well, I mean, what a match this has been so far. Um, if anything, the, the minimal mistake from either player and this is really turning out to be a, a top final. You know, you really wouldn't be surprised if this goes the whole way, probably nine all. Yeah, it's got that feel to it. I mean, a lot of talk of, you know, finals are for winning and sometimes it, it can be a little bit of an anticlimax. This is anything but this has been an absolute classic already. Both players still need four frames, a long way to go, but the level on the table, both players are right at it. Made a ball, messy-ish layout. I'd say there's a chance here on Reds though. Two reds nearest to the bottom rail are going to be his tricky balls in his finish. Possibly on the one now into the right corner with an angle to develop these balls. And that was exactly as played he would have loved to cannon into that yellow full ball that's exactly what he's done and that's why he's landed absolutely perfect now Careful not to knock that eight ball awkward. He would have preferred just to slide by it. But he's okay. Yeah, I think he can just drop this in. He'd be straight enough onto the red into the left middle. And he is. Just another big blow from Tom Cousins. Breaking clearance once again for Top Cat. And honestly, I'm, I'm amazed at the standard, to be honest, because the atmosphere out there is unbelievable. And certainly if I was playing out there, I wouldn't be um, as relaxed as these two are looking. They're, they're giving off the... They're, they're really treating us to a high level of ball here but they're doing it in the toughest place to do it they're out there you know I know that you've been involved in an awful lot of matches where your opponent is playing a high level and you've played a high level I've commentated on a few where you've been going like this where both players are going blow for blow I mean what is it like out there when you are delivering time and time again but your opponent's doing the same thing well it's not just that I mean you've had you've had these matches where you your opponent's playing well yourself's playing well but Look at the atmosphere out yeah. here now. There's literally the the stands are full and that people are cheering every shot. It's like they must they must be shaking, but they don't look they like they don't it. show it. No. And Declan finds himself the odd frame behind once again. It's a great camera angle to see the, the line that he's picking on that break. He's almost hitting down the, the line of the, the right-hand side. 
really getting a lot of explosion on that break. Certainly be the yellows from here as well. No options on the reds, so. just gone too far or is he okay can he play it cushion off the red yeah certainly further than he would have expected that to go whether he has to do another little nudge on that or he could possibly play it cushion and then off the red but might just be playing a little nudge on it now that's come out okay for a second I thought it was going to sit right behind the red and be awkward it's come out fine Yeah, he's going to play for the the two yellows up the top of the table next. And his key shot is probably going to be how he gets from them two yellows at the top of the table back down to the two at the bottom of the table. Almost feels important to get rid of the, the yellow nearest the break line before the one over the pocket because of where the red is. Possibly. Um, I'm not sure he's going to risk that, though, because the easier shot now is to where he's just landed it's, it's a lot easier to get on that ball but he's, so he's I got less margin of error now to get the, the shots tracked down the table right of course yeah but I understand why he's played that because it's much easier to try and land on a good angle now but certainly won't be easy possibly could he pot the yellow off the red which is what he is doing and he's going to screw this back for the same pocket for the yellow. And that's perfect angle on this yellow. Well, maybe a touch thin, actually. Just pulled up. It is, and to be honest, that's a poor shot because anything but be short on this ball. But just about, I think he's got enough angle. He's really loading up on it. A bit careful in the middle pocket. Really allowed the spin to take. Potted it off the straight side of the pocket. Allowed it to grip. And that is an excellent positional shot. Yeah, I think he's a little bit fortunate. He's only just on that ball on the, the bark cushion there. If he was even just half a ball shorter than he was, he certainly wasn't going to be on it. I think he was just slightly worried about getting the red down in, in amongst all the balls at the bottom and causing an issue and just didn't give it enough pace. Yeah. It's worked out well, though. And it is another brilliant breaking clearance from Declan Brennan. We are seven all in this race to ten. What a match we have on our hands here. Yeah, don't get me wrong, that was a fantastic finish anyway. Um, it's just a case of just about landed on that ball, but um, certainly a fantastic finish though. To put some weight to what we were saying about the lag, he's had four break clearances in his seven breaks. And he's eyeing up a fifth. And the other thing that winning the lag does, if it, especially now that we're sort of into that blow for blow kind of range is he's the one getting in first at the moment although not happy with this layout yeah Declan will um, certainly be sat on the edge of his seat looking at where these balls have landed no easy first shot And probably the only first shot is on yellows, which is probably not ideal. But he's going to go right centre and try to develop the yellow at the bottom cushion. And what a shot he's played there. That's such a fantastic shot that he's, he's played that in such a way where he's, he's literally trying to knock that where he has as well. Yeah, amazing. Tough part as well. And he, you could tell he wasn't happy, you know, very rarely does he show anything at the table and he really did grimace and 
gave himself a second or two just to be annoyed before he worked out his plan and that opening shot and an excellent second shot off the red as well all of a sudden this layout looks good I mean I thought this was a tough finish but Tom's got um, other, da other ideas hasn't he <laughs> it's just incredible but this is what Tom does if you were just sat there and kind of not really paying much attention, half watching, and you'd be like, oh, it's just another easy finish off a of Tom Cousins break. But that first shot was, that had to be thought about, worked out, and played to perfection. And he does that so often, his first shot or two is so clever. Although he's just let this one run a little bit short. He has, and can he pop this and can the red full enough to land on the last yellow? But what he doesn't want to do is knock this red into the black and the yellow so he's got to be very precise on this shot where's the red going to land he is going to be snookered first mistake in quite a while from Tom Cousins not necessarily that shot the previous one yeah right. and to be honest he did all the hard work and on that third to last yellow it looked pretty straightforward and he's just landed too short and the shot he's just messed up there is it was such a tough shot, to be honest. There was a lot to work out, you know. He, he needed to cannon the red in the right angle, but he also didn't needed to not hit it too hard to where it's gone now. not a wide open counter clearance but where the yellow's gone Declan Brennan is complete control of this frame yeah and he's got the comfort here of yeah it's not a tough it's not a, an easy finish but if he does miss, Tom's yellow is on the bottom rail. You say if he does miss, we're in frame 15. He's yet to miss a pot in the match. Queuing incredibly well Just gone through this counter clearance like they were hanging over pockets. Yeah, it certainly wasn't that easy. Um, and he's left himself on this second to last red in a way where he's pretty much unmissable. That's probably the only red that he could miss where he could maybe leave that yellow one don't think he's worried about that at the moment, the way he's seeing it, the way he's feeling, but this has really been a brilliant counter clearance. Just the eight ball required. Yeah. Just incredible. And that feels like a big break of serve. That's how it feels right now. The way these two are trading blows, Declan's in front. Look at the crowd as well. Yeah, it certainly does, and it's it's crazy how comfortable Declan looks out there, and especially with the full crowd, it's good atmosphere out there, and he just looks like he's playing 
sort of on the outside tables. The level he's playing at, the focus he's playing with. And we, we talk about the, the game in those breaker serve terms, almost putting it into tennis, but, you know, kind of philosophy. And it doesn't always play out like that, but that really felt like one there. That really felt like one that's gone against the head for, for Tom. It felt like he'd done the hard work. His opening shot was e excellent. And the mistake has allowed Declan to, to punish him. And now Declan has the break. And he's two away. It does, and even more, especially when you're playing Tom, because because Tom has such a good break and he probably clears more than he doesn't off his own break, so even even more important against Tom, but... Well, just when Declan was looking for one to keep it rolling, it's dry. His first one in quite a while. And another good layout for Tom to go at. As the clock ticks over to midnight, nobody is taking their eyes off this match. Yeah, that was such a good plant there. I mean, you're queuing over the yellow. The red wasn't really hanging over the pocket as well, and it certainly wasn't a straight plant. Uh, it was a, a fantastic shot. Plant made everything here. Once that went in, it just looked all but certain. Just had to be careful and down the cushion. Possibly a little in between here. Um, not quite sure whether the angle is to screw back for the eight ball or to run through. That one Looking looks like he's got a shade more. Yeah. All square once again. Declan gets the one against the Tom break. Tom responds by getting one against Declan's dry break. Three frames left. Both players need two frames for the title. Very hard to pick a winner. Say. Tom should have the edge because he has the two breaks. I guess at this stage, Aaron, all you're really looking for is two chances. However, you get them. Of course it is. Um, Declan in his seat at the moment is probably thinking he just wants a shot in this frame in particular. Probably not looking ahead to the, the three frames. Declan's just looking now, hoping that he gets a shot in his frame. Tom's just hoping he gets a ball and a chance. Oh, cue ball straight in. 
First really big mistake from Tom off his own break. It flew in there as well. And he sits down like a man that knows he may not get back to the table the level these guys are playing at. Possibly, but looking at the table layout, this is certainly not easy. This is one of the messier frames that I've seen in this match. Declan would have jumped out of his chair and run to the table thinking, oh, I'm going to get a, a good split off a of Tom Cousins break, and, and they come out like this. Done well there to find that you know, cue ball in hand. The levels look at the yellows look relatively presentable here. They do. Um, the only question is whether the two yellows nearest to the right corner, whether the one nearest to the right corner can be potted. And if not, he will have to play a cannon still. looks like that's what he's left himself now so it's going to be yellow left corner run off the bottom cushion and can he cannon into these two balls and leave them on nice if he can see the one nearest the pocket he's okay and if he hasn't he that's could have not landed much worse oh he gave us the Wow. He gave us the impression like he couldn't and then casually knocked it in. That was a very strange one from Declan and now he is in trouble. But what's he done though? I mean, he had plenty of time. Now. He could have got the rest out. He could have he could have even stunned the white round the two cushions there. And I, as he just played a very careless shot. That was a very strange one. He, he, he was giving us all the impression that he, he wasn't on it and then just... I mean, he was on it fairly comfortably. He'll still go close to this. What a shot from Declan Brennan. Dug a hole. Gets himself out of it. I'll tell you what, I'd be mightily relieved to pot that ball after that shot because... He'd have been devastated if he didn't pot that ball after that shot. And it puts him one frame away from victory, and he has the next break. I think you're right, Aaron. I think there'll be an element of relief in that walk back to the chair. As he would have thought, what have I done here? Of course, and it's it's not like um it's not like Declan's not used to using the rest as well because he's obviously got the snooker background. He could have easily asked for the rest there and just played that shot probably off the two cushions, which was no no danger of snooking himself. I'm Maybe just struggling to, yeah. to work out what he was grimacing about because if he's on that ball, then it's fairly routine for him. Yeah, of course. You have to say that when, when they came out like that, it looked a messy layout. And to find the cue ball in hand to get that very short position and then work his, his pattern out from there was, was very good, obviously. Had to dig himself out of a little hole he created, but excellent vision and clear thinking out there. It will be Declan Brennan to break next. He is one frame away from the Masters title. Nothing that Tom Cousins can do but sit and hope he gets an opportunity. Declan certainly got plenty of support out in the arena as well. You know, you can, you can hear um, all his teammates cheering him on.
balls fly in. What's the split like? It's okay. There's work. If only that red had dropped on the top left, he would be flying through these yellows. Is he looking at playing the skill shot, first shot? And this I tell big. you what, what a massive shot this would be. And it looks like he is playing it as well. He needs the yellow to drop in after the red as well if he's playing this. And he's not right behind it. That really adds to the tariff of this shot. This is very tough shot. And what a shot from Declan Brennan. Gives him the chance to win the title. That's an unbelievable shot. Like, I would, To be honest, I mean, I seen the shot, but there was no way I thought he was ever playing that shot. To, to even think about playing that shot shows a huge amount of bottle as well. It certainly does. What a shot he's just played there. Now has to hold himself together. They are all there. It's all about leaving his last yellow with a nice angle to land on the eight ball because he's still a little bit covered at the moment. And to be honest, probably he has more room than it looks on the, on the camera angle. Yeah, I think there's enough and it, it is going to be right behind the yellow as well. Inside, he's kind of trying to keep himself calm because he knows he's in perfect position. As a hush comes over the arena. Yeah, and there must be more room than looks on the camera angle because he literally just has to stun this ball in now. It's Northern Irish glory once again. Last year, it was Rona McCarthy. This year, it's Declan Brennan as the student becomes the master. Just an incredible final, Aaron. Just high quality from both of them, but that was unbelievable from Declan. That's fantastic. I mean, that's certainly one of the best master's finals I've ever seen. Um, literally hardly a mistake between them fantastic atmosphere in the arena amazing you say? truly amazing spectacle but it is Declan Brennan that gets the title amazing stuff let's send it down to Stephen Jameson in the arena for the presentation All right, welcome back inside the arena. What an absolutely epic WPF World Masters final. A final that fits the name of the Masters. Let's hear it for both awesome players. Tom Cousins and Declan Brennan. A tremendous tournament. It's no surprise to see this world-class player once again at the bitter end of a tournament. This time, though, he will only get the runner-up. But what a run once again for Top Cat, Tom Cousins. TC, I know you're not used to losing finals at this point, but that was that was such an incredible match to watch. What was what was that like to be a part of? Yeah, um, good standard from both. Uh, I probably made one or two more errors than Declan, but you know Declan fully deserved it. Fair play. And this has been played inside a fantastic atmosphere, played to a great spirit. This is this is what you boys play the game for, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the reason I come to Morocco is to get to a final and try and try and win something. But yeah, not this time. Maybe next time, mate. Best luck. Tom Cousins, everyone. Well, how about 
Northern Ireland's Declan Brennan. He was in the crowd last year, right behind his old mate Ronan McCarthy, cheering the loudest. This time, he takes the glory. Let's hear it for your World Masters champion, Northern Ireland's Declan Brennan. How are you feeling right now? Feeling great. Uh, the last time we won a big tournament, it wasn't fit to talk, but this time we felt just so composed and relaxed the whole match. Don't know why. Obviously, it was just... Uh, Tom's the, the best player in the world at the minute, you know, so if you can't get yourself up for playing a final, I guess, in front of all these people, then you may as well pack it in. It was played to a fantastic atmosphere, but I want to talk about your day today, because it wasn't all about this fantastic atmosphere out here. It was about the arduous task in the back room. You've been, you've been putting in a shift longer than anyone else today. What's it been like, and how was coming into this final off the back of it? Oh, no, it's, honestly, it was th from 3 o'clock onwards, I haven't stopped, really, and uh, I'd like to just say a big thanks to... Paul McElwain here, he's over with us on the team and all, and uh, he couldn't do any, any more for me. And without him getting me water and stuff and going to the shop for me, I, I don't think I would have survived today. And how about your boys in the back there cheering you on every single shot? The support's been amazing. Any words for those? Yeah, I'd just like to thank them. And uh, it's not over yet, lads. We've still got plenty more to play for, and uh, hopefully we'll take down the team. And uh, it was just nice to obviously be in Ronan's position was this time last year, so it was nice to have the boys supporting me this time and got over the line. The student becomes the master. Let's bring in Joe Fanso to make the presentations. Your 2023 World Masters Champion is Declan Brennan.